Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry praises young British people for surviving, but also for thriving, during pandemic in a nod to Meghan Markle's makes it mantra in video message from his Los Angeles home. Hi guys, uh, just a few months ago we were all together in London at the Onside Youth Zone Awards and wow what a night that was. I remember meeting so many incredible people and hearing your stories, stories of strength, of determination, of resilience, but ultimately of courage. Um, and as I said to you on that night, and I will repeat it again, hats off to every single one of you for for surviving, but also for thriving. Like you, the, these these stories and these these challenges, these daily challenges that you guys are coming up uh, up against, are unbelievable and so many people will never understand but you guys have the strength to, to, to pull through and you have the support of the onside community the onside family uh, to help you through the through through that process so I can only imagine the last six weeks has made it even more challenging um, this too shall pass um, and before you know it you will be back together again probably in a youth zone uh, you know running around having the best time ever so enjoy this link uh, it is a repeat of the award ceremony of the whole evening. So for you, those of you who have seen it already, enjoy. For those of you who are unable to make it, um, also enjoy. But um, I'm hugely privileged and honoured to be part of the on-site community. So yeah, have fun. I look forward to seeing you guys soon and soak up the positivity of this night because it really was amazing. Prince Harry has praised young British for not just surviving, but also thriving during the coronavirus pandemic in a video message recorded at his Los Angeles home for a charity award. Harry appeared overjoyed to be recording the message for the Onside Awards, with the video clip playing before the 2019 ceremony streamed in full for the first time online last night. He said, hats off to every single one of you for surviving, but also for thriving. The words echo those spoken by Meghan Markle during the ITV documentary Harry and Meghan, an African journey in which the Duchess of Sussex spoke of her desire to thrive in life. When discussing the challenges of royal life, Meghan told Tom Bradley, I've said for a long time to H that's what I call him, it's not enough to just survive something right. That's not the point of life. You've got to thrive you've got to feel happy. In the video clip, which was shared online, Prince Harry said, Just a few months ago, we were all together in London at the Unside Youth Center Awards, and wow, what a night that was. I remember meeting so many incredible people and hearing your stories, stories of strength, of determination, of resilience, but ultimately of courage, he continued. These stories and these challenges these daily challenges that you guys are coming up against are unbelievable in the documentary. She revealed how she had long told Prince Harry and that it wasn't enough to just survive something, but that the point of life was to thrive and feel happy. Onside is one of the UK charities, in addition to his private patronages, that Prince Harry has publicly committed to in his new independent role. The charity which has built 12 youth clubs in England, appears to be close to Prince Harry's heart, with the royal having visited the various facilities at least three times. He most recently visited the Unside Youth Zone in East London's Barking and Dagenham in April 2019, having previously visited Wigan Youth Zone in July 2016 and the Hive Wirral Youth Zone in January 2019 with the Duchess of Sussex. Another analysis. Why Prince Harry is more open about his mental health struggles than Prince William. Though both Prince Harry and Prince William are vocal about mental health awareness, Prince Harry has been more open about his own struggles over the years. One royal expert shared the reason why Harry has shared more about his mental health than his brother. Prince Harry struggled with processing his mother's death. Losing his mother Princess Diana at such a young age was traumatic for Prince Harry, but he buried the grief down deep and carried on. Eventually, repressing his sadness bubbled to the surface 
and he found himself battling some significant mental health issues. Prince Harry opened up about his mental health struggles during a 2017 interview with The Telegraph's Brian E. Gordon on the Mad World podcast. I can safely say that losing my mum at the age of 12, and therefore shutting down all of my emotions for the last 20 years, has had a quite serious effect on not only my personal life, but my work as well. I have probably been very close to a complete breakdown on numerous occasions, when all sorts of grief and sort of lies and misconceptions and everything are coming to you from every angle. In his 20s, it came to a head, as Prince Harry shared that all of this grief that I have never processed started to come to the forefront, and I was like, there is actually a lot of stuff here that I need to deal with. Prince Harry is more open than his brother. Prince Harry has been more open about his personal issues than William for a good reason. CEO of Mental Health Clinic Smart TMS, Jared Barnes, shared with Express why there's such a difference in the way each brother discusses mental health. Barnes noted, Harry has a different role in the monarchy, if he even has any role at all at the moment. Prince Harry is not an heir to throne in a direct way that Prince William is, he is able to speak out in ways that William doesn't feel able to talk about. He added, he has got more latitude and opportunity than William. One would hope that, if Prince William has any mental health issues of his own, he has a support network around him. Barnes shared, People he can rely on when he needs them. These people, you would imagine, are confidential. They keep these things to themselves as it would not be good for these things to become public without his say-so. Kate Middleton has been candid as well. Catherine Duchess of Cambridge was praised for her candid interview in February on the Happy Mom, Happy Baby podcast, in which she shared how she experiences mom guilt, just like everyone else. Royal author Leslie Carroll told Express that Kate might have been inspired by the way Harry has been so open. Carroll explained, Perhaps the Duchess was inspired by Harry's candid guest podcast appearance, discussing his 20 years struggle to cope with the death of his mother and the mental health issues that dog him to this day when he's in large crowds such as walkabout. Fears about paparazzi that have led him to be so protective about Meghan and Archie because he was unable to protect his mom. Another report. The $18 million Beverly Hills mansion, where Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are currently residing, is surrounded by a host of A list names. Mario photographs reveal their Tuscan style villa neighbors with red carpet stars such as Katy Perry, Jennifer Lawrence, and Sir Elton John. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently living with Baby Archie in an eight-bedroom, 12-bathroom Los Angeles property that is owned by tycoon Tyler Perry. The luxury 90,210 postcode pad, where they are currently on lockdown, is also close to Rod Stewart and Samuel L. Jackson. When Meghan and Harry lived in Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, their nearest famous neighbor was the Queen. However, now the Duchess is a stone's throw away from her tennis best friend Serena Williams, along with her actress pal Abigail Spencer, among many others. The Sussex couple moved to the 14-acre home after relocating from a private waterfront property owned by a mystery billionaire in Canada. The Vancouver Island had served as the young family's temporary abode. After their bombshell announcement, they are stepping down as senior royals. Meghan is said to be loving living so close to her friends, and other big names living less than a mile to their home include Cameron Diaz and Nicole Kidman, who reside in the Hidden Valley area. This sought, after Spot is also home to Adele, Ashton Kutcher, and Myla Cunis and Penelope Cruz. On the opposite ridge lives, actress Hilary Duff, 23 times Grand Slam winner Serena. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening.
don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Stop.